I'm here with the big dog, the top dog, the hot dog, who was evicted from the house last night. Well, tonight we've already seen three naughty nominations and now it's time for Hot Dog's wife to sort the housemates washing. <laughs> As one who shares her every emotion and every thought, every moment of the day, I wonder if Beston will find any fluff for the nomination navel. Before she nominates, let's have a look at Beston's week. Right? Herbert Wings, take Best because he's been complaining about it. And me. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Best, win the reward, man. You can't help yourself, can you? No. You can't, can oh, you? Not, not. You just used to action 24-7, aren't you? Sorry. Sorry for being me. Mm. Well, I'm not apologising for being me. Why should you apologise for being you? She's just egging you on, mate. To get what you're no, I'm not, Greg. No, I'm not egging him on. How about you have five people ganging up on you? How would you feel? Sometimes enough is enough. Sometimes I actually do have enough. So male-dominated, I can't handle it. Can you want equality in here? Let me rock off. We know all you guys rock off. I've been struggling my whole life trying to defeat, my, trying to defend myself with. And you can guys. see this. I'm sick to death of it. And why can't I? Why am I not good enough? Why? Because I'm a girl. And as soon as I buy back, I'm a bitch. Stop staring at me, mate. You're a freak. <laughs> that, freak. I've just noticed to try and get someone to stop doing what you don't like. You actually, you go way below the belt and insult them to the lowest level. Don't stare at me, and I won't call you. And that's like that's Freak. really that's really Freak. unweak of you, Dave. Freak. That's a really weak, weak. It's hurting you because you're staring nature. at me. If it was stop hurting me, I would have turned away, but it's not hurting me. Oh, that's right. Freak. You're a freak. I nominate Logan David for two points for calling me a freak yesterday in the bedroom. Um, I don't feel that freak is an appropriate name to call anybody because I feel that it singles that person out from the rest of the group. Freak to me means ugly, abnormal, um, just something really, really ugly. And to make somebody feel really, really ugly in a group like we have here, I think is very, very, um, I don't think it's a nice thing to do. And I feel that that person is trying to push their insecurities onto someone else to make them feel insecure. And I don't need to feel insecure here because I feel that enough. And he upset me and um, yeah. For one point, I nominate Dean because um, yesterday he he was oh, how can I put it? he was asking me to sort of cut his to cut his hair but I didn't feel like he was really asking me I felt he was trying to manipulate me into doing it and also I think he manipulated me into doing it because he felt that I was going to leave yesterday which made me feel that I wasn't good enough to be here just the way he goes about things he sort of doesn't ask you, he sort of tells you. And I felt pressured. And when I feel pressured, I tend to usually um, do what the person says because I, I feel, I don't know, I don't know another way out. Hot dogs. Didn't you want to reach through that television and give her a hug? Give her a big hug and a big kiss. She's beautiful. A big kiss, you see? <laughs> I was right. OK, now, Vesna's nominated the Logans. I wonder if they will reciprocate her kind deed. Let's have a look at their week that was and see if we can tell which way the nomination wind will blow. I can tell you something funny. What? She reckons you like her. She does, us she? Yeah. She, she, goes, goes, she told she me goes, that last night. She goes, he'll never admit it, but he does. I can feel it and I know when I'm right. She's kidding. Does she think I like her? No, she thinks Dave does. <laughs> That's the only way she can get talking does to she us. really? I go... Maybe. Do you want me to try and find out? Oh, yeah. She goes, she goes, he wouldn't tell anyone anyway. Also, she's the one sleeping in your bed, mate. I'm not here to control you. I'm not here to... Oh, I know that. Whatever. No. So when I get close to you, try and accept it a little bit. You can't tell me to say that, that I'm like that with everyone. So why is it with me? I don't know. Maybe to, maybe to start that, when you were first in Navy, you kept coming in and telling us to take your shirt off and touching our bums, and I didn't know you that well. And to see you doing it to my brother, and him not like it, f***ing me off. As much as you've been in a humorous way, okay. now it's a different story. I don't mind you can't touch me because I know this. I know you, yeah, the, the approach you make now, I know you'll be better. I don't like that, Benny. 
This well, I said you should wear it more often. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that the best today. Eh? Yeah, I know you were. And you just was giving him a bit of a stir up. Yeah. And I think your brother likes her. Kate's like a giggle giggle, and I went, as if Kate kind of knows something. She said, I'd like, yeah, just go. Listen, just because my brother doesn't want you, Kate, keep your head. She's I'm off actually the biggest flirt in these hands. Two points this week goes to Vesna. <coughs> uh, very inconsiderate and arrogant, um, <clears throat> especially towards uh, our conversations. She feels like she's very narrow-minded. I always have to tippy-toe around what I say just to make her feel happy and always feel wanted and just needs and, and craves attention. Uh, if it's negative attention, turn it around back on me. Example, last night, put me in a situation, uh, asked the question about hot dogs. I'd prefer him to be here than her. Either, anyway, however I answered it, I knew she was going to get the upper hand and feel better about herself and, and belittle uh, me. One point for Under the Radar. The reason I nominate Kate this week for one point for being Under the Radar is because I've noticed in the last couple of weeks since Kate's been up for nominations, previously two weeks ago, you continue to have an, a conversation with Kate where she then expressed her opinion freely and open-minded on the conversations I would have with Kate. Recently in the last week or so, since she's been up for nominations, she, she seems now to sit back and listen to what you have to say in a conversation and will avoid an argument or confrontation with myself or housemates. Um, so that's why I think Kate now is sitting back, relaxing and watching what we say and being the person that we listen to. So now we feel a lot more comfortable around Kate, what I do, because she's listening to me. So I think she's, you know, sitting back and just biding her time. I think her motivation is, for one, obviously to get, uh, the main one is not to get nominated. I think there was an example a few weeks ago where she expressed her opinion about a topic which got on the other side, it obviously upset um, myself. She, with that argument, obviously brought out another side to herself. So I think her motivation now is to sit back and not get nominated and try and buy her time in the house. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> now, would you have nominated either of those people tonight? I would have nominated Rita. You would have nominated Rita. And I would have nominated Kate. Why would you nominate Rita? Um, she just talks too much and she doesn't listen. Now, what does it mean, talking too much? I mean, is she fascinating? Does she have a Talk. lot of things of interest that she says? I mean, the only time she stops is to take a breath. It what is... sort of things does she talk about? What, what doesn't she talk about? It is unbelievable. I've never met anyone that can... T she talks in her sleep. It's incredible. I'm going, Rita, you've got to wait for us to go to sleep, mate, and then it's fine for you to go to sleep. She's incredible. She'd talk, really? She'd talk underwater. Now, who was the other person you'd nominate? Um, Kate, for one. Why? Um, for the same reason. Um... I think, I think she's playing it. I, I do. I've nominated her for the last, I think, two weeks for that reason, and I would have stuck to it again this week. But, you know, people are in there to win the game. I mean, of is course, there anything wrong, wrong with playing with it. it? And we've got to nominate. Um, yeah. So that's where it would have gone for me. Were you playing the game? I didn't get a chance to, and I didn't play it very well. What, nine weeks here. wasn't enough? <laughs> well, I was wondering about There was a rumour, of course, that your friends oh. had spent $100,000. Yeah, like, I did wonder where you would have got $100,000. Yeah, well, I sold a few houses. This is how it all started. Telling Rita. <laughs> Good old Rita. What I did said you to say? Rita, it was the only time I actually got a story in while she was in the house, <laughs> and everyone's believed it. I said to Rita, I sold a few houses before coming on the show, got 100 Gs out, gave it to my best mates, and say, every week I'm up for nomination, spend 25. I only thought I was going to go up four times. Hence, I would have been okay. Fifth time, bit the bullet, out the dog goes. So you're joking? <laughs> of course I'm joking. <laughs> well, I was actually going to marry you, but okay. <laughs> when you oh, say no, you... I'm serious. <laughs> that's it. All right, now that's five nominations down, only three to go, plus the nomination twist. So let's say tally-ho to the tally board and see who's looking like a sitting duck board. on this nominations night. Okay, so no runaway leader this week. Three housemates tied in the lead on three points, Dean, Kate and Tim. Followed closely on two points by the Logans and Vesna. Christy and Rita have both picked up a point and new girl Melanie is so far unblemished, unblemished on the big zero. So coming up, the new warrior princesses of the house take their virgin arrows from the quiver, <laughs> aim and fire. <laughs> Yeah.
You have one hour to make the house spotless. Oh the time begins now. Is this good?